Hey guys, how's everyone doing? It's Josh here. Uh, real cool video for you today. Today I'm going to be opening up this box. Um, I found this box in my desk. Um, I got a, kind of an idea of what's in it, but I tend to just throw things in random boxes, you know, when I have a lot of clutter of items that I need to um, sort into my collection. And this one just kind of got like lost in the shuffle and it was just like pushed back in the drawer uh i found it and um you know it's got a lot of memories like listia i haven't used that site in a long time i got this off of a lot on listia that's why it's got all the uh post um post office marking i just loaded it up with stickers and used it for um just storing and um so i'm going to open it up uh clear everything out and i'm going to start moving everything like sorting it into a more permanent space like rubbermaid bins and uh yeah very interesting. Uh, like I said, I got kind of a feel of what's in here, but I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a few surprises. I know it's going to be a lot of interesting Pokemon items. Um, right off the top, I see these. These are those old hat pins. Um, I don't even know if they're official. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think they have the markings on them. Uh, I'm not going to open it. I seem taped it up pretty good. Um, right here, I got a really cool little Japanese coin book. Remember, I got this off of Makari very very shiny came with a few coins um can't really tell who they are right there you know because it's very shiny but has a little uh guide um you know to see where all the coins go and everything's pretty cool i uh, intended on trying to complete that but it was really hard to find documentation so i just threw it in there <laughs> here's the the only graded pokemon card i own and it's not even mine uh this card actually belongs to my daughter jamie um for Christmas, I was looking for oversized Pokemon cards, you know, the ones that come in, like, collection boxes. My daughter loves to play with them. And uh, I met a guy who just gave me, like, a whole stack of uh, different uh, oversized Pokemon cards, and he asked my daughter what her favorite uh, Pokemon type was, and I said she likes fire, and I just assumed he was going to be including, like, you know, some cards, but he included this, uh, graded Moltres, you know, really cool. Um, it's hers. Uh, I gave it to her until I found it on the floor of her bedroom. And then I was like, you know what, Jamie, I'm going to put this up. Um, here's some very cool hat pins, uh, that come in these little Pokeball containers. You've probably seen them. There's like, was that Bell Awesome? Um, Pikachu. Uh, Togepi. I think those also come in the, uh, GameStop or Game, no Nintendo Power, not GameStop. Another Pikachu waving. There's Lugia. Put those to the side. Um, ho -Oh. Pretty cool. Um, this is a very interesting item right here. Uh, I got this off of a, a lot that uh, uh, TCA, the Charizard Authority, auctioned off on eBay of a bunch of random like Pokemon League memorabilia. It had a ton of medals and coins. And this is one of the more interesting things that were in there. It's a 98, pretty old. Um, Basically, what this is, is this was part of a promotional um, event for a uh, train or subway system in Japan. I think train, that's train, right? And uh, basically, you would get this ticket, and you would go to all these different... Um, let me see if I can find what it says. All these different stops, and at each stop, you get a different stamp on your book. See? And if you uh, got all the stamps in the book and showed the book to the person, you would got this commemorative medal to you know, tell everyone that you completed the event. And this book is fully stamped. See, there's Bulbasaur, Togepi, Dragonite, Squirtle, Wigglytuff, Mew. Really cool. I mean, someone sat there, took their time, took their effort. Uh, I mean, at least took a day to run this train, getting all the stamps that were needed and uh, completing the book and then getting the medal, man. Really excited to have this. Has some notes in the back that didn't write anything, but uh, yeah. Really cool. I've, I've honestly never seen another one before, so I jumped on it, snagged it. Um, right here is really cool. These were made by uh, Media Factory. I think that's the name of it. Uh, I actually have a full um, set of these. That's really cool. Um, this is just a little three thing. as Lapras and two Pikachus. Uh, it's got the character, mo the Pikachu model from the uh, Hey You Pikachu. Is that what it was called? The one with the microphone. There's some cool pins that were made with Pokemon X Beams pins. Um, you look closely. Sorry, the lighting's off. You can tell they like look like the GX cards. I thought they were cool. We got Charizard, uh, Pikachu or the EX cards, uh, Greninja, Eevee, and Mewtwo. Pretty dope. Um, set this aside. All right, here, get this big bad boy out of the way. Probably. 
Pokemon's wedged in there. One of my favorite pin sets, the Pocket Monsters 2000 Millennium Badge set. Very dusty, has adhesive on there. Um, I was w watching a sealed set of these, and I was really hoping to get it, and I didn't. Uh, so I'm a little kicking myself on that. But this is my personal set that I have. Very cool. Um, here's some cool rubber pins that I bought from a uh, uh, Facebook uh, seller, Pokey Electronics. I think that was it. Um, very cool rubber pins. Really cool. Uh, awesome pin right here, Pokemon 2000. Um, I think I have this pin sealed, so I don't know why I'm keeping this loose pin. This may be auctioned off or sold soon. Got some really cool buttons. What is this, Pokemon trading card game, Wizards of the Coast button? Really cool. Still sealed, look at that. I put it in an outside bag to protect the seal. Oh, nice little Pokemon, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. So I guess I, I, I've been in here not too long ago because that game hasn't released that long. Um... I got this, I think, when my daughter bought the game. They had them at GameStop. Uh, really cool. Pokemon the Movie 220. Uh, I Choose You. A little cool, like, pewter-looking pen. Very nice. I got this with that same Poke Electronics auction. A little pixelated Eevee pen. And uh, finally, right here, a little pen two-pack with uh, Pikachu and Lugia from the movie. Really cool. Oh, it's open, but, uh, yeah. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna cycle all this stuff back in my collection. Uh, just figured, you know, if I was gonna go in it, you know, it might be an interesting video. Um, I'm gonna be trying to do some more Pokemon related uh, stuff right now. Uh, just convention season has taken up all my time. So it's been gung-ho Power Rangers and getting signatures from celebrities. But uh, I definitely will come back around to Pokemon and start collecting the coins and pins that I've missed from the different releases. So be on the lookout for those videos. Uh, Hope you enjoyed this one. Take it easy. See you next time.